On today's menu, a recipe so bursting with flavor, you may need to simmer down. A simple but extraordinary chickpea stew. Lei Ho Ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese. Welcome to Young Man Cooking, I'm Will Young. All right, so every single episode, I say this recipe is incredibly easy, but this recipe is so easy and extraordinarily delicious, you just would not believe. Before we get started, if you enjoyed today's recipe, definitely give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. So let's begin. Three pieces of garlic, finely chopped. One red onion, diced. You can also use a white onion or a couple shallots if that's what you have on hand. The garlic and onion will basically melt into the stew, adding incredible flavor. One red bell pepper, diced. This will add some fresh sweetness to the stew. One green bell pepper, diced. This will add a hint of pepperiness and a beautiful pop of green color. Peel four potatoes. In this episode, I'm using yellow potatoes for their delicious butteriness, but feel free to use russets if that's what you have on hand. Chop the potatoes roughly into one inch cubes. The potatoes will add a lot of body and that buttery texture to the stew, and it will also act as a bit of a thickener. Slice in half about one and a half cups of cherry tomatoes. 400 ml canned chickpeas. You can save the aquafaba to make a thick chickpea mayonnaise. Rinse and drain the chickpeas with some water, then set aside. That's pretty much it, and we're ready to cook. I told you this was easy. Stock pot. Medium heat. About three tablespoons, olive oil. Onions and garlic. Saute for three to four minutes. red and green bell peppers. Saute for a couple of minutes. This recipe is quite versatile. You can also try using zucchini if you like. Two teaspoons salt. Fresh cracked pepper to taste. Half teaspoon turmeric. Two teaspoons sweet paprika. One teaspoon smoked paprika. Stir and cook for about a minute to combine all those delicious flavors. Cherry tomatoes. Potatoes. Chickpeas. Four cups of unsalted veggie stock. Give the pot a stir and bring to a boil. When it comes to a boil, turn the heat to medium low, cover and cook for 15 to 18 minutes. Perhaps catch up on some reading while you wait. Blender. Transfer about three ladles into the blender. Blend on medium-high for a few seconds. Transfer back into the stew. This will add a lot more body to the stew and give it a delightful texture. Give the pot a stir to combine. Plate the soup generously.
This recipe is good for about 3 to 4 portions, but of course you can multiply it to make more if you like. Squeeze over some fresh lemon juice and sprinkle over some freshly chopped parsley. You can now serve up this stupendous recipe with absolute confidence. It looks and smells just sensational. Man, that is delicious. Visually, this dish is just gorgeous. It's not only a comforting dish, it just has this glow and this beautiful warmth. The turmeric helps add that beautiful golden color and you get these pops of red from the tomatoes and the red bell pepper and the green from the green bell pepper and that freshly chopped parsley. The main body of this stew is just so earthy. It's not too liquidy and it's not too thick and yet it has a lot of substance. The chickpeas and the potatoes are just so tender. Those cherry tomatoes are just melt in your mouth. They also add this natural acidity and this sweetness. There's that bit of smokiness from the paprika and that extraordinary fresh brightness from the lemon juice. The onions and garlic just melt in there and add so much delicious flavor. This is definitely one of those simple delicious recipes you can make on your busiest weeknights or you can make a large batch of this and enjoy it anytime you like. Like I always say, it's simple, delicious, exciting recipes like this that makes it so much fun to cook at home. If you love easy, delicious recipes like this, then definitely check out or pick up a copy of one of the three Young Men Cooking cookbooks. There's a print or digital version of these books. You can also check out the Plant-Based Sushi Masterclass along with the other Young Men Cooking merch. Down the link in the description box below or you can visit youngmancooking.com. If you enjoyed today's recipe, definitely give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. If you're not already subscribed without notification bell clicked, definitely do so. We'll cook together in the next episode.